Hi viewers, welcome to Bosco Campus Vision. Today we are discussing the subject Labor, Law and Industrialization of S5 BBA under Kerala University. And myself, Mary Neto, Assistant Professor from Department of Management, Don Bosco College, Kotiya. Today we are discussing the topic Measures for Strengthening Trade Union. So last class we already discussed what are the problems and shortcomings of trade union in India. So today we are discussing the measures for strengthening trade union. Let's see what is. So these are some of the steps that can be taken to make trade union successful. So they are strong base, financial stability, one union in one industry, internal leadership, recognition of unions and the last is paid officials. So let's see what are these topics. So the first is strong base that is in order to develop a strong trade union movement it is essential to widen the unionism to an organized sector or small towns. So workers in household small scale and domestic sectors should form trade unions. So the membership of union should also be increased. For this purpose rigorous membership campaign should be launched. For strong base level so the first method or first measure for strengthening trade union is a strong base that is the membership of the union should be English for that for that purpose the rigorous membership campaign should be launched or in order to develop a strong trade union movement it is essential to widen the unionism to unorganized sector or a its small towns our strong base for Trade union strong trade union strengthens the first measure or a first step in the one and then a strong base on dark either small scale sector in the domestic sectors along workers in household e megal in the kal kare cool the number in the trade union pangali laka other way did up a membership increases a and our end on a chain other their regress membership campaign or either membership campaign or other or present on other or delay in any unions like a membership said you know elegant members members are not in the annual in the code of the end of another campaign launch year on the pain on the net is done at the workers in household like a small scale domestic sectors like all car trade in the panda jerry game other trade union and then a strong base or added there on that kid in chain you know so the next is financial stability so to improve the financial condition of the union the minimum subscription should be raised that is every member in the trade union shall pay a minimum subscription to the union so it should be increased up to a certain amount so national commission on labor suggested that the checkoff system under which each worker would individually authorize the employer to deduct membership free from his wages or salary and the employer pay the collection to the union. So this will reduce the chance of default in payment by members and thereby improve the financial position of the unions. So here the financial stability means that there is a weak financial position in trade unions. So to overcome this financial problem, they suggested that the National Commission on Labor suggested that every employee or every worker individually authorize the employer to deduct their membership fee from his wages or salary and the employer paid the amount and collected to the union this is the solution for a financial stability for financial stability in the world and then trade union day major problem at a number of our name weakness later financial weakness other than fund illa to the problem up with the solution at every bar and then a lot of members in them for a subscription amount monthly to do by number code can on under I am on the number on the salary by selling wages by so the mother the pick and all of us to solution the administration he amount the union in code can then if I get him employer not a ton and I'm already authorization code can young at a salary in the alarm also he amount to deduct the jam union the membership fee on the bar on the deduct the jay and the employer and the jam is the near a union equal to the and so so this will reduce the chance of default in payment by members and therefore improve the financial position of the unions. So next is one union in one industry. So it means that the principle one union in one industry 
should be adopted to avoid multiple unions and inter-union rivalry. So a provision may be made in Trade Union Act that where more than one set of person claim to be office bearers of the same union. So the matter should be decided by central organization to which the union is affiliated by or a labor code. So here one union in one industry it says that it should be avoided, adopted to avoid multiple unions and inter-union rivalry. So one union in one industry means that it should be avoid union conflict or a rivalry. Say so provision may be made in Trade Union Act. More than one set of person claim to be office bearers of the same union. But one union in one industry in the one or industrial or the union a part of other and another short form of good one more question at a show again. What is one union in one industry? But organization in the option create either at a priority and then a multiple unions or vaca, a legal inter union rival and the unions on the good unions on the gill. If it is a little competition, so I'm going to so. The matter should be decided by the central organization to which union is affiliated. Alangil a labor court. E under gutter. Next is internal leadership. So this means that leaders of union should be developed from within the rank and file of the workers. So this will help to eliminate party politics and outsiders. So there should be no ban or non-member holding executive position in a union. But the limit of outsiders in the executive of the union should be not exceed 25%. But the ex-employee should be treated as insiders. So, arrangements should be made for the education and training of workers and penalty should be imposed for victimization of union leaders. So, unions should throw away the control of political parties and politicians. So, internal leadership, it means that the party politics or the outsiders may leading the industry units. So internal leadership means that leaders of the unit should develop from within the rank and file of the workers. But internal leadership and the industry union leadership union industry union members Angani Allah non Tangil outside parties, Alangil outsiders in the game, and the industry ke Mosha again. There should be no ban or a no member holding executive position in a union. Apam, union Agatha Lover Kwanogi in the executive position like Irika, but there is a limit for outside executives. Purat or Lavere, I not the name in the chella and then Tatasangal under. There is a limit only. But ex employees will be treated as insiders in the industry. Sorry, industrial jolly is either no allegal retired iron alkar under allegal. Anganaka all Mumbai industry jolly is in alkar ex employees on legal. They are treated as insiders. So, arrangements should be made for the education and training of workers and penalty should be imposed upon employees and the education and training in the leadership and the penalty should be imposed upon employees and the education and training in the union leaders and members and victimize the penalties in the leadership. So, clear with the point, one union in one industry and internal leadership. So the next is recognition of unions. So it should be made obligatory for the employers to recognize the union in all undertakings employing 100 or more workers. So the recognized union should be statutorily given certain exclusive rights and facilities. So the minority union should be given only the right to represent workers only in case of dismissal or discharge. So, the minimum membership should be 25% if recognition is sought for an industry in a local area. So, the representative character of a union may be decided through secret ballot or examination of membership record. So, it should be made obligatory for employer to recognize the union in all undertakings that is the employers uh, employing 100 or more workers the recognition recognition of union detail 
or in the last section we already discussed the recognition of trade unions so in continuation with that we can discuss illa ane parana endana or employer inde uttaravayitham aanu illa industry illulla unions ne angika adayathu onnil koodal undengil alla nammal paranju ettom koodal membership ullalla edu union aanu adine aanu employer angikarikkandathu appo 100 allengil more workers ullalla industry aanengil avada namak endiya trade union ne angikarikkam so a trade union seeking recognition has a bargaining agent and should have a membership of 30 percentage of the workers in the establishment appo industry le 30 shadamana workers adangunna ore trade union aanengil avare namakku ore bargaining agent aayittu namakku angikarikkam alle trade union aayittu employer ku angikarikkam and we can say that the recognized union should have a statutorily സെർട്ടൺ എക്സ്ക്ലൂസീവ് റൈറ്റ്സ് ആൻഡ് ഫെസിലിറ്റി അപ്പം അംഗീകരിച്ച യൂണിയൻ ആണെങ്കിൽ ഇൻഡസ്ട്രിയിൽ അവർക്ക് എന്താണ് ചില എന്താണ് ഒരു റൈറ്റ്സ് അല്ലെ അവർക്ക് ചില നിർദ്ദേശങ്ങൾ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ അവർ എങ്ങനെ ആയിരിക്കണം അവർക്ക് ചില അധികാരങ്ങൾ ആര് കൊടുക്കാറുണ്ട് എംപ്ലോയേഴ്സ് കൊടുക്കാറുണ്ട് ക്ലിയർ വിത്ത് ദി പോയൻ ആൻഡ് ദി ലാസ്റ്റ് ഇസ് പെയ്ഡ് ഓഫീസ്യൽ വി ഓൾറെഡി ഡിസ്കസ് ദിസ് ഇൻ ദി ലാസ്റ്റ് പോർഷൻ ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ഫുൾ ടൈം പെയ്ഡ് ഓഫീഷ്യൽസ് should be appointed to manage the affairs of trade union so these officials should be competent and sincere and they should be paid well and we can say that they should be the men of integrity or able to evaluate workers aspiration and is strong enough to negotiate with employer on equal basis so a paid official he may be and sincere or a competent person so a full time paid official should be appointed to manage the affairs of the trade union അപ്പോൾ ഒരു പെയ്ഡ് ഒഫീഷ്യൽസ് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ എന്താണ് നമ്മൾ നേരത്തെ എന്താണ് ഷോർട്ട് കമ്മിങ്സ് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ പ്രോബ്ലംസിനകത്ത് പറഞ്ഞു ഒരു പെയ്ഡ് ഒഫീഷ്യൽസ് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഓഫീസ് ബേറേഴ്സ് ഇല്ലാത്തതാണ് ഒരു ഇന്ത്യൻ ട്രേഡ് യൂണിയൻ്റെ പ്രോബ്ലം അപ്പം അതിനെ ഓവർകം ചെയ്യാൻ നമ്മൾ പറയുന്ന എന്താണ് ഒരു പെയ്ഡ് ഒഫീഷ്യൽസിനെ നമ്മൾ അപ്പോയിൻറ്റ് ചെയ്യുക അപ്പോൾ അദ്ദേഹം എങ്ങനെയായിരിക്കണം കഴിവുള്ളൊരു വ്യക്തി ആയിരിക്കണം സിൻസ് തൻ്റെ ജോലിയിലൊരു സിൻസിയറിറ്റി ഉണ്ടായിരിക്കണം അതുപോലെ തന്നെ വർക്കേഴ്സിൻ്റെ ആസ്പിറേഷൻസ് ഇവാലുവേറ്റ് ചെയ്യുക അല്ലെങ്കിൽ എന്താണ് നെഗോഷ് എംപ്ലോയറുമായിട്ട് നെഗോഷിയേറ്റ് ചെയ്യുക ഒരു ഈക്വൽ ബേസിസ് നെഗോഷിയേറ്റ് ചെയ്യുക അതുപോലെ ആ വ്യക്തിക്ക് മാസം മാസം ഒരു പേയ്മെൻറ്റ് കൊടുക്കുക അപ്പോൾ നല്ലൊരു പെയ്ഡ് ഒഫീഷ്യൽസ് ഉണ്ടെങ്കിൽ നമുക്ക് ഓർഗനൈസേഷനിലെ ട്രേഡ് യൂണിയൻസ് സ്ട്രോങ് ആയിട്ട് മുന്നോട്ട് നീങ്ങും സോ ഐ ഹോപ്പ് യു ആൾ അണ്ടർസ്റ്റുഡ് വിത്ത് ദീസ് ടോപ്പിക്സ് അപ്പ് സോ ടുഡേ വി ഡിസ്കസ് ദ മെഷേഴ്സ് ടു സ്ട്രെങ്തൻ ട്രേഡ് യൂണിയൻ ആൻഡ് ദീസ് ആർ ദ വേരിയസ് സ്റ്റെപ്സ് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് സ്ട്രോങ് ബേസ് ഫിനാൻഷ്യൽ സ്റ്റെബിലിറ്റി വൺ യൂണിയൻ ഇൻ വൺ ഇൻഡസ്ട്രി ഇൻറ്റേണൽ ലീഡർഷിപ്പ് recognition of union and the last is paid officials so clear with the points so prepare well study well thank you